Hi everybody, uh, welcome to a new Freaked Beam development video. Uh, this month I will show a little bit uh, of the new Beam workbench that I am working on. Um, as you may know, uh, this is an external project for, from Freecad. It's not included inside uh, the Freecad source code. Um, there are several advantages to, to this. Uh, basically, that it's easier for new people to look into the code and to help uh, to, to help uh, developing it. Uh, but it's really easy to install in, in Freecad. I will show you how it works. Um, this is Freecad bare new FreeCAD when you, when you just install it and you just have to go to these tools add-on manager there is this warning message to tell you that you're downloading stuff from outside FreeCAD and then you just locate the Beam Workbench and install it and that's it after that you can close FreeCAD and reopen it and then we have our Beam Workbench here so when you start the Bing Workbench, uh, the first thing you get is this welcome screen. Um, everything that's being done in the Bing Workbench is quite experimental. I'm trying to find ways to make working with Bing in FreeCAD easier and more uh, intuitive for, for new users. So this, the idea of this screen is to explain you quickly how things work. And there will be a simple tutorial that's not there yet. Uh, that will like walk you through the, the, the first step of working with, with FreeCAD. Um, when you click OK, you get to this setup screen, which will allow you to set up a couple of um, preferences for, let's say, the most common preference to work with in, in, in FreeCAD. Uh, as you may know, if you already uh, worked with FreeCAD, the preference system of FreeCAD is be uh, becoming huge uh, because every workbench uh, adds some, some new features so it's, it begins to, to become quite gigantic. So this is an attempt to simplify things. So in, you just have one simple screen and uh, you set all the units you, you might uh, want here. I will, for example, work in centimeters, I want zero decimal, decimals. Um, I want one grid square to be 10 centimeters and one grid line every meter. Uh, the rest I will leave it the way it is. Okay, and then everything is uh, ready to work with, with BIM. Um, so all we need to do now is to create a new document and we can start working. So basically, let me move this to a more convenient place. Uh, basically, uh, at the moment, uh, the BIM workbench is basically almost the same as the Arch workbench. It has all the Arch tools, all the draft tools, and a couple of other tools that are taken from other workbench, such as Spart, for example. Um, I will align them a little bit better for you to see otherwise it will take all my screen space this toolbar here which is the same content as this manage uh, menu are uh, tools new tools specific to the Bing workbench they don't exist outside the Bing workbench all the others exist in standard FreeCAD they are just grouped differently for example, in 3D Drafting, you have all the draft tools. In 3D Beam, you have all the Arch tools. You have all the snapping tools here. Modify, um, I put there tools from a bit of all the workbench. You have uh, draft stuff and you also have part stuff. Everything that, that's actually useful to manipulate objects. Then you have the Manage that have all the BIM tools I will talk about now and utils, utilities, I put a little bit of everything there as well. Uh, this menu and the modify, um, I'm still experimenting what works best, so they might change uh, all the time. Um, in this 
toolbar here, you have this new tool here that shows or hides the Python console, the report view, and the selection view, which I find very convenient because uh, usually you don't need them to work, but sometimes you need them. And then with a click of a button, you just show them and hide them, um, which is I find pretty convenient. Um, and then we have these tools here. This first one is the preference screen that um, we saw earlier. So it's really easy to come back here and to change any uh, any settings you any setting you want. Uh, this one here is a complete project setup. So here you can set all the basic things you need for a new project. Uh, so you can set up a site, you can give it name, address, and position. Later on, this the idea is to um, extend this to, for example, take a location from from the internet, from uh, OpenStreetMap or some site like that. Um, then you can define a building, you can give a couple of um, settings of that building, and you can define um, access grid. And then you can define some levels uh, that will already be packed in it. And then after that, you can save a preset, which is pretty useful. Then you can ju just um, grab uh, another setting that you that you defined uh, earlier. I will make a uh, quick one here, just to see, uh, let's say, in meters. Six meters. And no levels. Now we save a preset. Okay. And this is what you get when you press OK. So basically, you have a building which contains a group which has an outline and a couple of settings here. So with that, basically, it's just a couple of lines, but you now have a good base to start working with stuff. Like, let's, um, for example, start with a couple of walls. Put some, oops, some columns. Anyway, you have with, with this uh, like a base already set to 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 work easily. Um, so what's next here? We have a level manager, a Windows manager, an IFC elements manager, and a views manager. So I will load an existing file of mine so it will be easier to see how all this works. So here we are. Uh, then we have the Levels Manager. Levels Manager basically it manages the different levels of your project. And um, you can easily from here uh, change the name and the level of any of those. Delete and add new levels. Um, so basically this is convenient window, um, you're not forced to use it, you can still use the, the normal standard uh, tools to add each level manually um, in, in, in your model here. Um, but let's say this is an easy uh, management window, so you can see all your levels at once and change everything quite easily. Um, these options here are not functional yet, but they're coming with the new uh, building part object that I'm working on now. Uh, so the idea is that from this uh, window, you can just double click. Uh, at the moment, it doesn't work, but you can you could just uh, double click one level and find yourself in the right view, uh, ready to work on on that level in top view and with the the working plane already set. Uh, then we have this Windows Manager, which just lists all the windows of your project.
project. Uh, it shows windows and doors, um, which are the same object in, in FreeCAD. Uh, so you can classify them, for example, by size, uh, which take the height and uh, the height and width and group them like that. So you can show which one is a clone of which one, or by tag, or by material. Several ways to, to organize the, these windows. And this is useful here, for example, you, you want to give a tag to a certain window. Um, you can, you want to manage all your windows, etc. Et um, this later on, I will also use this um, this screen to produce a nice window schedule uh, automatically. And another one that's really interesting is this one. Uh, this is a BIM Elements Manager. The idea here is to check that uh, all the BIM elements of your project have the correct IFC type and will be exported to the correct IFC type. So they are grouped by type or uh, by material, but in this project I didn't use any, any material. But you can basically reorganize all your objects you can for example this is wrong this should be a slab you see now they are in slabs and they have the icon to show that they have been edited so when I click OK the actual object will be changed um, and, and so this is where you manage all your your project before exporting to EFC to, to make sure uh, that everything is correct. Uh, you remember last month uh, that uh, from now on any beam object in FreeCAD can take any uh, IFC type available. Uh, there are quite a lot. Um, this makes things really uh, convenient and really flexible to really use any of the FreeCAD tools to make any kind of beam object. Um, and you can manage the materials here as well. But let me load a project that has some working plane proxies. Here we are, and this project has a couple of working plane proxies defined, as you can see the green objects here. Um, and now if we use this view, we have those working plane proxies here. And by double-clicking one or another, I place myself in the right view where they were defined with the uh, with the working place with the working plane at the correct location. Uh, so this is really a convenient window that sticks uh, below the, the combo view here, and that allows you uh, to use these working plane proxies and also later on the building part object uh, will appear here as well. Um, so that's basically it at the moment. As you as you see, it's nothing really um, revolutionary, and it's mostly an uh, interface layer uh, on top of the rest of of FreeCAD. That's basically the idea behind the the Beam Workbench. Um, all the, the core functionality will stay inside FreeCAD, so you can still use FreeCAD without the Beam Workbench, and you won't lose any functionality. Uh, just the Beam Workbench will like try to unify things and make things a bit uh, more intuitive to work with. Um, this is a big experiment, uh, so all the comments are not only welcome but uh, highly needed um, because there is more in many heads than in only one. Uh, we have a um, thread on the FreeCAD forum to discuss this Beam Workbench. I will put the, the, script, the, the address in the comments here. And um, yeah, be welcome there and help us to make this better and more intuitive and easier to use. Uh, that's it for this month, I guess. So I hope you liked and um, see you next month. Bye.